Welcome to TA Tech. Let's get to the point right away. I'll be comparing six cloud gaming services so you can make an informed decision on which one you should buy. Let's get started. So I'll be comparing the Xbox streaming app from Microsoft, the NVIDIA GeForce Now app from NVIDIA, the Early Access Vertex Cloud Gaming from Remote My App, the famous high quality Stadia from Google, the Netboom app from Netboom LTD, and my favorite Shadow from Blade Group. So the way I'll be doing this is by rating each app out of 10 in 5 different categories that I've chosen. So I'll be comparing price, games, stream quality, ease of use, and compatibility. So each cloud game service could get 2 points out of each category, and the total will be added at the end to get the rating out of 10 for each app. Firstly, let's talk about price, which is one of the most deciding factors for people to get into cloud gaming. Here are the prices for the 6 cloud gaming apps. As you can see here, the prices range from £16 all the way down to £4.99. And you will also learn that the most expensive isn't the best one and the cheaper isn't the worst one. So this is going to be interesting, comparing price to compatibility to stream quality and games. It is also worth noting that Netboom has an option for you to pay on the go to play so you don't have to pay for membership. So here are the results for the first round. Each app has a score out of 2 based on price. So even though Shadow is the second most expensive app on the list, I still gave it a 1.5. This is because it's a great value for your money. As for Vertex Cloud Gaming, it loses this round miserably because it does not justify its price. You can't have good cloud gaming without good games. So on this round, we will take a look at the game libraries provided by each app. So the first app I'll be looking at is Vertex Cloud Gaming. So Vertex Cloud Gaming has a whopping 171 games in its library. Its biggest games are GTA 5, Apex Legends and Counter Strike. So now let's talk about the second app on the list which is Shadow. This is the only app that lets you have total freedom about the games that you want to play. So what Shadow does is giving you access to your own PC inside your phone. So this basically means that you can play any PC game that you want without any restrictions. This definitely means that Shadow gets the full marks in this category. So the next app on the list is Project xCloud or the Xbox streaming app as it's called on the Play Store. This app just like the rest constrains you to a pre-selected library of games that you could choose from. However, you don't have to own these games to play them. So Project xCloud has more than 200 games for you to play. This contains the Xbox exclusive games such as Halo, Forza and Gears of War. The fourth app we have in the list is Netball. This app has more than 100 games in this category, with its best games being The Witcher 3, Cyberpunk and Grand Theft Auto. It is also worth noting that this app does not require you to own the games to play them, so if you have a membership with them, you can play any game in this app without owning them. So the next app on the list is Google Stadia, and this app has more than 100 games in its library, with its best games being Cyberpunk, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Destiny. It is worth noting that Stadia has a completely free tier that lets you play the games that you want. All you need to do is purchase the game inside Stadia and you don't need to pay for membership to play that game. So the last app on the list is NVIDIA GeForce Now. This app has 2000 games in this library. It is insane the amount of games you could find in this app and high quality games as well. I could not pick the best games because I could not go through all of them but I did come across Apex Legends, Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Watch Dog Legends. So here is how the score looks now, with Vertex Cloud Gaming and Netboom being with the lowest rating and Shadow with the highest score because it gives you total freedom of the games you could play. The Xbox streaming app has a 1.5 rating because of the Xbox exclusive games that it has and Stadia with a 1.5 rating because it does have some exclusive itself such as Red Dead Redemption. So now let's talk about stream quality. So Vertex Cloud Gaming lets you play at Full HD 60fps. And although it's not very consistent, it does let you play with the settings of the stream and the frame rates based on your internet. And the second one we have is Shadow, and this one lets you play at 4K 120fps on your phone. And you could also change the stream quality, the frames per second, as well as the native resolution of the stream. It is really impressive to have 4K 120fps on your phone. This is quite insane from Shadow, and this is why it's my favorite cloud game service. Next, we have the Xbox streaming app. Although it's very smooth, it only runs at 720p 30fps. 
Some would argue that you only need that resolution on your phone, but I beg to differ, I think it should be at least 1080p with the option of playing 60fps on the phone. So the next app we have is Netboom, and this app runs at 1080p 30fps. Netboom also allows you to change the stream settings based on the internet that you have. Next we have Google Stadia, which is the only one could come close to Shadow. Stadia lets you play on 4K 60fps on your phone if you have good internet. Even though Stadia does not let you change your stream settings, its built-in adaptive changer works really well. So here are the results for the third round, with the Xbox streaming app taking a big hit because of its low stream quality. And even though Vertex Cloud Gaming claims to do 1080p 60fps, it's not very consistent, that's why it has a 1 in this round. So in the ease of use category, I divided the apps into 3 different categories. So let me explain to you why the Xbox streaming app and Google Stadia are the easiest ones to use. So they are very easy to use because all you need to do is run the app, find the game that you want to play and start playing the game. It is as simple as that, you don't need any logins, you don't need to do anything so you just pick a game and start playing. And you will see why this is really important because the other apps are different. So the same goes for Stadia, all you need to do is run the app, find the game that you want to play and you run the game. You don't need to log in, you don't need to do anything else. So I did put Shadow in the middle because it's something in between, so you do have to access your own PC from inside the app for you to play, but at the same time the app will always keep you logged in, as well as saving your login details for your Steam account, your Origin account, or for any other game that you play. And this is basically not the case with the apps that we have on the right side. These apps will always require you to log into your Steam account before you enter a game. And it gets quite frustrating because Steam always asks you for a verification code and this makes it very hard to get in the game. And it makes it feel like a chore to get in the game. So I feel like this is something all of these apps need to work on to make it easy for you to use. So here are the results for the fourth round. And it's looking quite bad for Vertex Cloud Gaming. Let's see if it could come back in the next round. So with this round, I'll be talking about compatibility. So how compatible are these apps with the existing operating system? So firstly, let's talk about Windows PC support. So I'm glad to say that all of these apps work on Windows PCs. This is a good news for PC users who don't have a good machine to run the best games. So this gives you the opportunity to try games even on your old laptop. So here I'm just gonna state the obvious that all of these apps, of course, work on Android. The Android system has always been an early adopter for cloud gaming, which is always good for mobile gamers. So lastly, let's talk about iPhone, which has always been a problem for cloud gaming, since Apple always has a problem for anyone who competes with the Apple Arcade. Unfortunately, this leaves two of the apps that we have out of this game, but even the ones that I moved to the left side still have problems with Apple, and they still need a web app or an external app for you to run the games. So here are the final results, with Stadia being the best cloud gaming service out there and Vertex Cloud Gaming taking a big hit with this review. Even though the Stadia won this comparison, Shadow stays as my favorite cloud gaming service out there. And the Xbox streaming app is still a good option because it's the only one that provides Xbox exclusive games. And GeForce Now still makes a good choice because of its big library of games and its good streaming quality. And I have to say that Netboom is not so bad and it's still a good choice for some people. It is also worth mentioning that all of these apps let you play with a Bluetooth game controller as well as the on-screen controls that are provided by the app. So that's it for me guys and I really do hope that I helped you with this video. So that's it for me guys, if you like this video give it a thumbs up, if you like the channel subscribe and peace.